uh, outline is uh, project design approaches, result, comparative analysis, limitations, creativity, innovation, and entrepreneurship. So the client requirements of uh, a project requirements is to demonstrate holographic course and environment uh, with uh, selecting the appropriate hardware and uh, designing the layout of holodeck where with exact components and uh, creating the 3D contents and uh, coordination of holo fans and their produce, uh, product uh, positions. Uh, these all with, uh, will be integrated with 3D content. So that the project design is to uh, research on uh, requirements and we have to select the hardware, uh, we have to design the layout, we have to fix ordinates of the fans and we have to uh, design the 3D layouts, 3D contents and then we have to assign it to the database and we have to convert it into the bin files and then we have to assign it to the fans and we have to play it on the fans. This is all about the, our design uh, outline. So there are uh, several approaches. We have five different approaches. This is this is my approach, and uh, and these are my 3D contents. So I have created uh, two fishes. Uh, I have three, created three uh, two contents with two fishes as well as one shark. And this is my video. I will hand over to Yashwan to explain his designs. Thank you, Shantan. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, myself Yashwan Bairi, and uh, this is my design approach. And uh, I've created uh, two scenes in a Blender. These are the two scenes uh, I've created in Blender. One with uh, uh, four cameras in a uh, single line, uh, single side, and uh, another one with uh, four cameras on all sides of a single scene. Thank you. And uh, now I'll hand over it to Priyanka. Thank you, Ashwin. Uh, this is Priyanka. I'm here to discuss about the uh, design approach of mine. This is my de uh, design approach to create a holographic water environment. Uh, this is the 3D content which I have created to display in the whole of hands. Uh, initially, I have used Unity software to create the 3D content where you can see the uh, image of the fishes uh, and uh, uh, water environment where I have placed some rocks and grass. Uh, in, uh, it is uh, difficult to give the movement uh, to the fish uh, in the previous software, Unity. So we have uh, switched to another software which is Blender software where I have created an another scene using a fish and I uh, gave the water environment and the movement to the fish. I've recorded the uh, uh, movement of the fish in various angles uh, by placing different cameras uh, and all the views. And this is the video. Uh, next slide will be continued by Mani. Thank you, Priyanka. This is Mani Kumar. Uh, and in coming to my individual uh, design, I have used four access points, uh, which are actually connected to each set of fans, which are located in four, four types of walls, top wall, front wall, left wall, and right wall. So the, these are actually uh, my scenes, like which are actually created in the blender with the background of shark. And my, and, and my friend Ravi is going to explain now. Hi everyone, myself, uh, Ravinda. I'm coming to my design approach. Uh, this is my design approach. And the scenes that I created in Blender software are these. And the output video of this scene will be explained in the result by Shantan. Um, I'm here to discuss about the results. Uh, this is the initialization process of uh, the two towers. Uh, in 691, initially, the uh, we have created the layout for 16 fans to create the holodeck uh, in a room. Uh, later on, uh, due to the huge budget issue, uh, the client has reduced the amount and made uh, finalized the design for the whole, two holo towers, which we have placed at the center of the room. Uh, we can see the uh, design model for the holo tower uh, with uh, each side and the uh, installation and fixing here. The next slide. Uh, we can see the 360 degree view using this tower. Uh, the content is played in the uh, holo. Uh, a logo is played in the uh, holo tower in the second image. This is, these are the two uh, towers which we have pre uh, prepared in this project for displaying the content. Next slide is continued by Kishantan. So these are the painted uh, towers. So we have used uh, black paint to, in order to uh, sustain from the contrast. So the fans will uh, generate uh, transparent images. So in order to have a black background, so we have chosen the black paint. Uh, so just to avoid the, some contrast between the contents. So now uh, coming to the uh, bin files. So the hologram fans only accept the bin files. So then we have to convert into the 
uh, bin file bin format. So uh, we have to create a 3D content into the uh, Blender software or any other software, 3D software, and then we have to render it into the MP4 format. And then we have to convert it into the bin format, and then we have to place it into the fans. So uh, these these all uh, converting about the bin files. Now coming to the synchronization. So uh, the videos should be in same uh, duration. So uh, when I say the synchronization, I will play my video and I will explain what it is. So the synchronization is between the fans. Uh, it should be a crucial part in the uh, uh, this this project. So all the videos should be in the same duration, and the fans should be uh, together revolving uh, with the content. So the content must match with fans, other fans. The fan one should match with fan two, fan two match with fan three. So in order to uh, overcome from this problem, so we have uh, uh, cropped the video in such a way that the only fan Fan one has uh, uh, fan one has one uh, one uh, video. Fan two has another video, and fan three has another video. So all these fans will be played all at a time. So in order to come from that problem, so we we will note all the fans uh, timing. So the fan one uh, switching on the fan one, uh, we have we will note the timing uh, of the content being produced, and we will switch on the fan two that uh, timing. Of uh, content that we is producing, so that we will record all the timings of fans, and then we will trim the video in such a way that all the fans will be synchronized properly. And coming to uh, the output, so we we have created the output and we have sent to the client, uh, so that he will be placed. He, he was happy with the client with the output that we have got, and he will be uh, placing it in the company's web website for their uh, solutions, and they will be creating more such uh, contents uh, from uh, the. From the uh, for, for their uh, purposes and then the solutions in the oceanic environment. Now the this, the, the comparative analysis will be explained by Ashwant. Thank you, Shantan. Um, coming to compar uh, comparative analysis, uh, compared to all other displays, uh, holographic fan produces an illusion of uh, 3D objects, uh, which we, we can see the uh, uh, floating objects in A, and so that we can experience it in uh, virtual reality. This can be possible when the fast spinning fan becomes uh, nearly invisible in the neck with the naked eye and uh, projected objects uh, gets a see-through background which can be uh, act as uh, a transparent display and uh, the fans are mainly intended to use uh, for advertisement and marketing uh, in uh, shopping malls and airports and by any other public places and we have used it for uh, creating a virtual ocean in, uh, in a pool. Uh, thank you. I'll, uh, I'll hand over it to Ravi. Uh, coming to the limitations of our project, uh, holodeck measurements vary depending upon the number of fans being used. Uh, here we are using total number of eight fans, where four fans are connected to one tower and four fans are connected to another tower. Uh, and uh, the synchronization has been a major problem in our in the project uh, because uh, in for each fan there there will be two to two seconds difference in between the synchronization. Holo fan produces a bit of noise while spinning around, uh, and it can also produce a bit of heat while while spinning. So and uh, and the maximum time of the fan rotating will be up to four hours. And I, these are the major uh, major problems uh, in our project. And coming to the conclusion, uh, by this project, uh, we can conclude that the holographic fan produces a convincing illusion of the 3D objects uh, in the air by by spinning the fan um, practically, which is invisible to the human eye. And these fans um, can be mainly used in advertising purposes uh, in public areas such as airports, or uh, uh, shopping malls, etc. And they can also uh, be used to uh, highlight the products or giving guidance. Uh, in, in future, we can develop the fans um, to the uh, and connect to the cloud, and and they can be operated from anywhere. Uh, next slide will be explained by Mani. Thank you, Ravinder. This is Mani Kumar again. Um, coming to creativity, in, in this part, we have created a uh, holographic experience of under deep ocean with uh, with fishes, fishes and sharks in realistic sounds. For for this, we have connected holographic fans to uh, as a network uh, kind of loop. Um, so with this, the holographic fans it creates a realistic environment of a deep ocean, which actually mesmerizes the viewers. Uh, using these fans, uh, there are a lot of users um, in um, in a um, re realistic way, like um, promotions um, of brands and presentations, which are actually made as e-learning in the schools. Now we're um, we're going to discuss about innovative and entrepreneurship. Uh, holograms nowadays become a big thing in the in the society. These are actually uh, used in various fields like uh, in military, uh, medical, 
art and technology whereas in military we are going to display the enemy or the opponent uh, um, to the army so that we can train how to defend the opponent and medical we are going to train the uh, junior doctors by using uh, 3d display so we can operate how, how we are going to operate the organs and whereas in art um, we are going to display the um, graphical content or, or the paint as, as a 3d display in in technology we are going to use it as um, uh, as a promotion of brands so now my friend Chandran is going to explain more detail about uh, technology in hologram. Yeah, thanks, Mani. So uh, the 3D visuals will grow in business in sector. So uh, it has a huge impact in, in future. So these are uh, these these are the innovation where it connects the interaction. So it it gives us interaction between uh, the fans realistic and uh, the 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 way we have going to see it in our life. And uh, in maybe uh, maybe uh, the Zoom calls may be replaced in uh, future. Uh, like uh, just we have uh, uh, we have interaction between the Zoom now nowadays, but in future the it can be replaced with the whole of fans where we will be discussing with uh, each other like uh, it's it's like a live view uh, because it generates a accurate and uh, uh, full time of a uh, full size of holograms of ourselves or yourself on uh, it can be placed on other any uh, on site or, or at office so hoping uh, our project will make a such impact in future and uh, we will be uh, learning more from this and and its innovations and thanks for the uh, time and these are our references it's all about our, our project thank you thank you